James Kaufman, World News Report, today, November 21st, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. It looks like we've had an X flare. It was not picked up by our GOES satellite because the sunspot actually had moved around the departing limb of our sun. So it was one of the two complex sunspots that just has moved around the departing limb or the western limb. Everything's flipped backwards on LASCO. You can see the white energetic particles being pushed towards LASCO's camera. That means that we're going to be in a proton storm or better known as a solar storm specifically. I will show y'all all of that right now. Now, this happened at around 1800 UTC time, and we got this small C flare signature from it. That'd be the only signature we could have gotten around that time period. Obviously, this was a much larger flare, most definitely an X flare, definitely generated by one of the two complex sunspots that just made it around the limb. We should thank our lucky stars once again that those sunspots, although that they were complex, they were quiet as they were Earth-facing. Seems to be, well, something that occurs most often, more than not. Meanwhile, we shot up into an S1 radiation storm, a proton storm here, which is also considered a solar storm. I'll show you the S1 rating. Uh, this is our GOES proton flux, and you can see how quickly it shot up. And again, we can see the protons being accelerated towards LASCO on the LASCO feed. So this was a strong event, and we'll be able to really get a time of the occurrence here. Uh, we're still in normal conditions here, but we end up in a polar cap absorption event. We'll watch the UTC time here. I thought it was going to be around 1800 UTC time, but let's take a look and get an exact time. So like it's going into 1900. There it is, right around 1900 UTC time. It blasts Earth with protons. We're in a polar cap absorption event currently since the, well, summer is in the southern hemisphere. The Antarctic has much more radiation than the Arctic, i.e. it's pointing or closer to our sun here. You can see that this is a pretty strong event. Definitely an X flare popped off. Thank God it was not Earth facing as usual. And just to see what's going on, it looks like they're doing ion physics instead of proton physics, but for some reason, they're in instantaneous luminosity currently, and CERN is on full blast currently. Uh, I would guess this is a coincidence, but I did want to show you guys that CERN is creating instantaneous luminosity as the storm occurs.